Hello party people! Oh my gosh, it's been forever since I did just like one of these vlogs. But I thought I would bring you along with me today. We just got back from a mini vacation. We went to the beach and it was such a fun time. The kids had so much fun playing in the sand, building sand castles, mostly destroying them, getting real dirty. We thankfully did not get the flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> we all came back safe and fully intact. We searched for seashells, we went to the sandbar and tried to dig up some sand dollars. We did a lot. The kids had so much fun, but we did decide to come home a day early because we ran out of sunscreen. <laughs> That's not really why we decided to come home, but we, I mean, we did run out of sunscreen, but it started raining. And really, three days at the beach with a bunch of kids is just, that's, it's enough, right? And even though we came home to a clean house, it is like no longer clean. I don't know what happened. I obviously have to unpack and do laundry. Let me show you how my bellhop brought everything in. Bags, crock pot, more bags. Oh, did he put the cooler stuff away? No. No, he didn't. Why do I assume things? <laughs> Suitcases, more cooler, and then, oh, thank you, an upside down luggage bag. I hope nothing broke, just kidding. He knows it's just clothes in there. Pillows and such. I just spotted this on the ground. What the heck is my life? It is a package of cream cheese. Just, I guess someone decided to have a picnic right here in the foyer. So we're gonna deal with all that crap, but I also, more excitingly, wanted to, oh wait, two things I wanna mention. Okay, if I forget one, just remind me. <laughs> um, I'm six months pregnant, what? So I have been kind of cleaning like crazy, getting things kind of ready for the baby. I have a very long, extensive list of everything that I want to get done around the house before the baby comes. I think I literally started making the list like the day I found out I was pregnant. Actually, I started making it like the month before I found out I was pregnant because if you guys know, short story long, I thought I was pregnant the month before, but I wasn't, it was just a false alarm. Where was I going with this? I have a lot to do and I feel like I lost out on so much time because I was sick for nearly half of my pregnancy and not just like, oh, I'm nauseous. Like I can't move, I can't do anything because I'm so dizzy and throwing up everything kind of sick. Nobody wants that. So, well, let me show you my progress around the house, okay? Oh, I also went to the store. I need to put this stuff away. What was yes. your favorite part about the beach? Hey, bud. Collecting these crystals I'm gonna show them. And rainbow shells. And rainbow shells. I think we found our cream cheese culprit. I found the blue one. This one I found second. Oh, so here's one beach crystal that Eleanor found. Look at this beauty. Okay, moving to Wentworth's room. Sorry it's messy, but like we live here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just stepped on that crap. Okay, I figured this is where I will put either Wentworth's clothes that are in here, which he doesn't have that many because most of them are hanging up. Uh, but this is the stuff I've been buying for baby. I've just kind of been shoving it all right here. Maybe I should have showed you like what it looked like before and you would be more impressed with my progress. <laughs> but this wasn't there before. It was just a whole bunch of basically junk. I found the other crystal. Oh, there's the other crystal. So pretty. So for now, this is what it looks like. And I will share with you all the new stuff I've been buying for baby because it's exciting. We've also been decluttering a ton, and I'm so proud of Alex. One, because he's making his side of the bed that he just napped I'm in. your side of the bed. But <laughs> he also decluttered his closet. It's something I've literally been asking him to do for months. Since I decluttered my side, I think you all saw that, and it looks kind of cluttered right now because I have all my maternity clothes. But it's held up pretty well. It looks pretty decent, right? But here's his side, and he has a before picture, so I'll try to insert that, but Goodness gracious, it looks 1,000 million times better than it did. Maybe you really can't tell from this angle, but like you can at least see the floor, so there's progress there. And the second piece of very exciting news that I almost forgot to share with you is that Alex is going to go pick up this huge shelf, well, like wall shelf that I found on uh, Facebook Marketplace for $50. We're gonna put it in the garage and we're gonna organize all the things He's gonna pick it up once it stops raining. So I guess what we should do first is probably put away the cold food. 
But really what we're gonna do first is throw some crap in the laundry. Oh my God. Have I shown you my new laundry room? It's not new, it's not new, but I did add a shelf. Doesn't it just look cleaner? Maybe just to me because I know what it looked like before. I need to put those somewhere else. Here's the shelf I added and this little crate. Look at that, that was $3. And okay, I'm gonna go fill that up and then fill that up too. That's a little trick I learned when I was a pharmacy tech. If the pill bottle was super full, I would just like give it a little shimmy shake and it would give me a little bit more space. Why did you turn your back on me? Maybe there's something I don't see. Could you do it? Okay, bye. Are you guys gonna go get the shelf? Let's do it. You gonna say bye to me, Wentworth? You gonna say bye? bye. Have fun getting my shelf. Bye. bye. Oh, hear that noise? Yeah. What's that noise? It's a phone. It's our doorbell. It's our doorbell. Yeah. Speaking of our doorbell, now is the perfect segue for me to share with you one thing that is now checked off my list to do before the baby comes. And that was to get a ring doorbell. Isn't it beautiful? Alex installed it all by himself. Are you so proud of him? Because I am. Oh, one other thing on my to-do list is to paint my front door. I bought the paint, does that count? <laughs> Okay, but for real, I wanna thank Amazon Ring for sponsoring today's video. And as always, I wanna thank you guys for supporting me when I have sponsored content. And they have a special offer for you as well. They're offering you a great deal on a Ring Welcome Kit, which includes a Video Ring Doorbell 2 and Chime Pro, which is just what you're gonna need to start building a ring security system around your home. So the link will be down below and we have had our ring doorbell for a little while now and I love it, especially when we were on vacation. We would get sent alerts to our phone if there was a motion detected by our front door or if someone rang the doorbell. So even if someone just comes to your front door and doesn't necessarily ring the doorbell, you still get alerted if you want to on your phone, which is my favorite. So when I get the alert, I open it up on my app and I can see right away who is there. And Alex's favorite function is like the two-way talk back and forth, especially when I'm home and he's elsewhere and I answer the front door, Alex will like stay connected. He'll pull up the app on his phone and he can, we can have like a three-way conversation with whoever is at the front door. It's, it's his favorite. I also love the alerts, especially since we've been going on vacation a lot, and we're not always home. Like, we're a busy family, we're not always home. So if there's a package that's coming to our front door and I get alerted that there's motion by our front door, I'll be like, who's that? I'm not expecting anyone. It's either like a surprise visitor or a package being dropped off because you guys know I love to order stuff online. It just helps me stay connected, obviously, and it makes me feel a little safer that I know what's going on at my home even when I'm not there. Even when I am here and it's late at night and someone comes to my door, because we have a lot of late night visitors, and I'm like, I don't want to answer the door, and sometimes my wreath gets in the way of my peephole, so I just pull it up on my app, and it's great. I'll be like, um, no thank you. <laughs> or like, hey, I'll be right there. <laughs> Gotta love that two-way talk. Because oftentimes Alex isn't home at night, and I'm home alone with the kids, and like, I'm not just gonna open the door, you know what I mean? All right, makes me feel safe 
Ring is also known for their video doorbells, but they also offer a wide variety of products, indoor, outdoor cameras, they have floodlights I've seen. So you can go to the website and find the camera that works for you based on what you want or what you need. But don't forget to check out that special offer. The link will be below for the Ring Welcome Kit, which has the Ring Doorbell and the Chime Pro. So this is the Ring Doorbell. This is what we already have, and I absolutely love it. And Alex installed it by himself. I'm still super proud of him for doing that because he is not a handyman, okay? And that says a lot on how easy it is to install. And then this is the Chime Pro that comes with it. So this will basically be like the doorbell that goes off when someone comes to your front door. It's just a little chime. It's not obnoxious at all. And it also extends Wi-Fi to ring devices. It has, ooh, it has multiple alert tones, that's fun. And then it has a do not disturb mode, which is super important, especially if you have little newborns or anyone you don't want to be disturbed in the house, like maybe a dog, I don't know, just saying. I should also mention some of the really cool features that it has. I just assume you guys know this because the Ring doorbell is seriously so innovative and I thought I was the last person to learn about it. So it has infrared night vision. You can see who's at your door even at nighttime. It's lovely, easy installation like I've said two-way talk, Wi-Fi connected, it's weather resistant, and you have an option to have a quick release rechargeable battery pack. And there's two faceplate options, black and this silver. We went with the silver, but I think the black would look really sleek too. Here is the Chime Pro. It's perfect. It's compact and you just plug it into any wall outlet that you have. And here is the ring. And I thought I would show you the black faceplate, but now I see that they offer one that is paintable. It's paintable. So you can match this faceplate to your home. It's taken me two years to paint my front door, so I'm not sure that's for me. <laughs> they also have this little, um, I don't know what you wanna call it, like a bumper, so the doorbell doesn't have to lie flat against your wall, so you can position the doorbell where you want to see people, you know? It even comes with tools to install it. So simple, guys, I'm not kidding. And this is the black faceplate. It's nice and matte. I think that's really sleek. Again, check out the link below. All of the details will be there. You won't regret the purchase, but for now, I need to finish unpacking slash cleaning. Slash eating. These are my energy balls. I made three batches of these before we went to the beach house, and that is what's left. <laughs> I thought I had more bags to unpack, but really it's just mostly food and then the kids' toys, so. This is great. These are the clean clothes that we didn't wear because we lived in our bathing suits for three days straight. And all of that is like 98% toiletries. And then I have stuff in the laundry. This is fantastic. I thought this was gonna take me a couple hours, but I am happily surprised. So how has your summer been going? I feel like I've been doing a lot of shopping and I haven't really been able to converse with you guys and see what's going on on your end. I hope your summer is going well because Back to school is creeping up on us really fast. Are you excited about that? Or not so much? <laughs> I like that the kids have something to do, like, you know, their days are schedule oriented and it's not all my doing, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's in someone else's hands. But I also like that I don't have to wake them up at 6.30 every morning. It's a toss up. I'm enjoy I enjoy both times of the year. I'm not sure which one I enjoy more, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I should have just thrown all these clothes in the wash so I didn't have to put them away right away, you know? <laughs> like my suitcase, anyone? I got it at a thrift store like 12 years ago. It's not broken, so I'm not gonna buy a new one. <laughs> it was like five bucks, by the way. I hear my washer. It just told me it was done. Yes, my washer speaks to me. realized I did? I washed all of the clean bathing suits that we didn't wear because I put all of our dirty bathing suits, all of our sand filled beach bacteria ridden bathing suits in here. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh man! You know what? I soak them in water when we're done with the beach but the beach just has a very distinct scent that is not easy to get out, okay? So I guess I'm gonna have to throw these in. But I don't have any more laundry. 
Isn't that awesome though? That I don't have any more laundry to, are you caught up on laundry? I hope you are, it's a great feeling. Even though I have laundry in my dryer right now, so technically I'm not caught up, and I'm holding a bunch of dirty laundry, so are we ever really caught up on laundry? Nope. You know what else is on my list of things to do? Is to clean out my pantry. I don't even wanna talk about it. It's so unorganized, and I've been putting it off for way too long. I, oh my gosh, I've been decluttering so much. I'm not even doing laundry at this point. Okay, don't, don't mind that. P.S. These were in my suitcase. I haven't worn them in years. So I put them on for fun. Oh my gosh. Do you people wear high heels? I used to wear them legit every day. I mean, not these, but high heels every day. I don't know how I did it. I hate them. So like I said, we've been decluttering a lot. And when I say we, I mean yours truly. I just feel like I need more space for this baby. And in this house, more space doesn't exist. So I have to make it, right? And that means decluttering. I used to have a bunch of just random stuff piled in this corner, cleaned it out, it's been clean. Guess what else I had? A junk drawer. Well, I still have a junk drawer, but I need to put, <laughs> I need to put like the Christmas stuff in the garage. This place mostly has a home. I just need to put it in its home, you know? Also baby monitor that I've had. Ooh, also some candy. <gasps> you know what? You know what I found in the deep dark corner of my room? a Christmas gift for someone who never came on Christmas. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna open it. It was amazing. <laughs> it was like a hot chocolate cocoa kit. It's like I knew what was in there, but while I was opening it, I thought, this is a great gift. I love this. And th of course, this is part of it. This is a Dollar Tree mug. What? Can you believe it? I love it. So I've been slowly eating the chocolates every time I open the drawer. It's like I forget they're in there, so. <laughs> Uh, Merry Christmas to me, Christmas in July. Okay, and then I went through Alex's drawers or helped him go through it, and these drawers, all three of them, I'm not even kidding, what is this? Oh, a sticker, that's great. I could not open it. Why is there a Monopoly game right there? I don't have ADD, okay. I couldn't open any of these drawers. They were packed to the max, okay? So we went through them. Now he has a shorts drawer that has space, no less. We donated a lot of stuff. And he has an empty drawer! Yes! We literally got rid of everything in that drawer. And then the bottom one was so packed. I, I legit, I couldn't open it. I'm not even kidding, guys. So these are all bathing suits. Most of them don't fit him. They're just for guests when we have guests come over. So it's perfect. Look at that. Open and close with no problem. Why is this on the floor? Needless to say, I've been enjoying our newfound space or just having less clutter in the home, you know what I mean? Like most of it was clothes that he never wore anyway, so I was happy to get rid of it. Do you guys always feel so much better after you declutter stuff? Like a hundred times better. And you know what's better than that is when we went through our closet, we found some stuff that we could actually um, like sell that was worth it and we thought, well, we might as well try to sell this before we donate it just to see if anyone is interested. We made a bunch of money! It was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. It felt like a good reward, you know? Oh, these are my clothes. All right, now I have to hang this crap up. I've been trying to take my eyes off you. Oh, girl, it ain't easy. Just let go of that body. Why well, you gotta keep flirting like you do? I waited so patiently, but you don't seem sorry. I see a little be you trying to make some plans. Now, come on, baby, lady, in the PM. Hope that you would understand. I think that if you get to know me, you see, I'm way more than nice. I wanna hold you, let me feel you till the morning light. I'm more than just nine to five. Everyone's known it's only you and I. Looks like we'll be staying up all night. Time to play what you say. I'm here for you. I'm working over. I'm gonna let your clothes drive down to the floor. 
I wanna see you moving slow to the music We'll be dimming the lights Then lock the door I know it sounds crazy But hey, I had a snack, refueled, braided my hair, and now I think it's time to show you the atrocity. Atrocity? Monstrosity? It's atrocious! My pantry! Please send help. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's like not that bad. <laughs> but I will give you an overview. I mean, it's pretty bad. I just need to go through each bin and really get rid, like someone brought those over and we don't like them. So they're just going to waste. These from Costco, not my favorite. I tried to replace my coconut almond chocolate covered ones. I just, those don't do the trick, okay? I wonder if I can like bring these back to Costco. We've barely eaten any of them, I don't know. This syrup we bought on vacation because uh, we were in a pinch, but we typically don't eat that kind of syrup. And then that's like overstock. I can bring that to my garage. You know what I mean? It just needs to be organized. Will you help me? Maybe? I also have to put this food away. Here, and then this food here. Oh, you guys. It's like, do I really need to do this? Hmm. I could find some other things to do. You know what? I will say, just to try to waste some more time, that I have cleaned all of my upper cabinets and all of my drawers to, like, I've decluttered. We, we've we donated so much in the past few weeks. I feel like I'm finally getting back to, like, oh, my house is tidy because I went four months being so sick not being able to clean any of it. Anyway, I haven't gone through my lower cabinets, which I really need to but I don't know if I will be able to do that today. So here's one cabinet. Oh, thanks Wentworth. Can't get that off, permanent marker, yep. But this is, it's not that bad. Like that needs, that's old. I bought new pots and pans, but now I have so many of them that they barely fit in this drawer. I have to like reconfigure it. I used to only have three pots and one pan. <laughs> And that worked for me for three years. I don't need any more than that. You know what I mean? I only have four burners. But I've got the George Foreman that we never use. Some really old lunch boxes down there. Kitchen bowl. A waffle make. You know, just some things. And I thought about buying an Instapot. I was like, oh, so close to buying it, guys. I posted on my Instagram. Like, hey, do you guys have one? Do you love it? Do you use it, really? You know, is it like a novelty item? And I feel like if I'm going to buy it, I need to make space for it somewhere. I never thought I would feel so conflicted about a kitchen utensil. <laughs> so many people are like, yeah, get it. And then plenty of other people are like, yeah, you don't need it. Like, you know, tell me what you think, I guess. I mean, it's ultimately my decision. Do I want to spend $80? Because it's on sale for like $80 for an eight quart. I mean, it's ultimately my decision. Do I want to spend a, a bunch of money on something that I don't really need? I don't know. But do I need it? <laughs> okay, let's just clean. The time has come. On my own, but I'm never alone. On a road to wherever I want. And you see, And he said, hey, you didn't happen to pick up a package from my doorstep 
for me, did you? And I said, no, we've been gone for a couple of days. And he said there was a package delivered to his door, but it's not there. I said, time for a ring. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I think these days it's just part of owning house. You just get it. <laughs> okay, back to our regularly scheduled pantry cleanup. <laughs> Street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time What it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm there. Five million interruptions later, and I'm finally finished. Here is the final product. Feels a lot lighter. I guess that's what happens when you organize. There you go. Gotta put that crap away. All of this will go like in our stockpile outside in the garage. Need to tidy that up. These are all the boxes. I need to put them in the recycle bin. And this is the stuff that we have not eaten. Slash won't. Well, I could probably save the crackers. Do you guys want to come over and deal with that stuff? Okay, I cleaned the counters off. Well, mostly. Alex is taking out all of those boxes. We'll deal with that in a minute. Don't ask me why that's in my house, okay? We were playing outside with Wentworth, but it was just too hot and I needed to come in after a while. So I said, just bring the back in with you, I don't care. Here comes Alex with the truck and trailer. It's so big, we had to borrow his grandfather's truck and trailer. Uh-oh. Tell me this thing is not crazy nice for $50. At Ikea, it's $177, not assembled. <laughs> this will be the eventual home for it, but we need to get rid of this couch because we store crap on it any... Oh look, Alex cleaned out the car in a hamper. Okay, that's enough of our embarrassing garage. Okay, you guys, I am spent. The day is over for me. Mostly by that, I mean it's time to make dinner. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm gonna make, but this is when an Instapot would probably come in handy. Just saying. I'll get over it. I'm looking around my house and I still have so much to unpack from our trip and tidy up. 
but I can wait until tomorrow, really. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and cleaning and chilling with me. I always enjoy my time with you. Make sure to check out the link below. Thanks again to Amazon Ring for sponsoring this video. If you want the deal on the Ring doorbell and the Chime Pro, uh, the link will be below, so just click it, check it out. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I, we really enjoy it, we find it very helpful, and that's real talk. So let me know if you have one, if you love it, all that good stuff. Thanks again for hanging out, and I will see you next time. I need a drink of water. Oh, you know what? I think our, our dryer went off and I never checked on it. Here it is. Good thing it's like mostly towels, I feel like. Actually, it's like half towels, half clothes. I guess I'll have to deal with this tonight, but after dinner. Bye.